Hi, this is Margaret with Recipe Amateur Investigator. Today we're going to bake a classic almond ricotta cake. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is get one stick of non-salted um, butter and you're going to cream it, which I have started to cream right now. So I'm going to put it in and then you're going to get one cup of sugar and mix it together so it graduates together mix it nice and creamy you're going to get two room temperature eggs but right now we're going to get this creaming together so we're going to give it a few minutes for it to cream and then we'll just go over the rest of the ingredients while this is creaming you're going to turn on your oven though at 350 you're going to get yourself a spring can pan to do it, line it. If you don't know, know how to line your cake with parchment paper, watch one of my films. I show you how to perfectly cut uh, parchment paper to fit your um, that fit your fit your spring pans or any type of pan you need it for. You're also going to get in here, which I have my flour mixture, which is one and a half cups of flour. It also has in here the salt is one four teaspoon as well as one and one fourth of baking powder. Make sure not soda, baking powder. Then you're gonna have two eggs at room temperature. You're gonna get three fourths cups of, of almond. You're gonna have your vanilla and your almond. And the most, entire, most important thing is our ricotta. With the ricotta, you're going to get at least a 15 ounce of ricotta, just so. So now that we got the egg and the butter in here, we're gonna put one egg at a, whoop, 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 that's a surprise. One moment, let me lift this up. Butter fingers, no shells. Give me one moment. Let's get this one little shell out. Well, whoever gets a shell gets a surprise. And I got all the shells out of here. One last one. Oopsie daisy. It happened. Then we're gonna let do one egg at a time. Let's put this back in. And let's do a, another egg. Oops, I see one shell. One moment. Let me lift this up. I thought I saw a shell. Yes, I did. I thought I did make sure there's no more. No, there's no more. If someone gets a shell, it's a surprise. Tell them. It's an Italian surprise. And then we're going to put another egg. Make sure there's no shells in here. And we're going to make it. And we're going to just going to let it blend. While it's blending, the next thing we're going to do in here just want to make sure and lift this up and get all this butter off of here so it mixes when we put our flour mixture in here next okay so we're going to put our i'm just going to stir this up that looks good okay and then we're going to get the flour mixture in here in just a second just want to make sure it cream it just a little bit because of the eggs there it goes. Now it's creaming. So with the flour mixture we did, we're gonna sift it in here. Usually I have it pre-sifted, but I'm just gonna sift it in. I'm gonna turn this off. And I'm going to just move this over just a little bit so I can get my sifter in. Press it against me. And let me put this in. Are you filming? Are you? Thank you. Don't film it. And we're going to sift this in. Nice and thin sifting. I usually use this one for my cocoa, so hopefully there's no more cocoa in here. Can I couldn't find my other one. And then we're just going to mix this up back in here. Now it's sifting. After it's sifting like this, we're going to go ahead and put one and a fourth of vanilla in here. I love the smell of vanilla. 
and almond. So with this one, it's going to be almond. We're putting one and one fourth. There's one fourth. And then one. Ooh, it smells good. Then we're going to use next is the vanilla. And the vanilla is going to be one teaspoon as well. Then we're going to start using the ricotta cheese next. You want to come and look inside and see what it looks like? See how nice and creamy it looks? Now comes the ricotta cheese. So I'm going to close, open this up and just pour a whole 15 ounce in there. And we're going to blend it again. See how it's nice and blending? And then once this is blended, we're going to put it inside the spring pan and we're going to let it bake for like 45 minutes and then completely cool. But let's get this done first because we're going to sprinkle some um, almonds on top of it. So it looks good on my side. Let's get all this off. And then we're going to put it inside the spring pan. Push this back some and unplug it. And then, like I said, we're going to put it inside the spring pan. When you bake with a spring pan, make sure you put another pan underneath it. Let's put this in here. And still trying to get all this out. It smells so good. I can't wait to try it. I never made this before. And this is from... This recipe is from the Taste of Home. Mmm. Mmm. The batter is delicious. So we're just going to put it in here. Spread it out. Sometimes tapping the pan helps too. I just don't want to. I just want to make sure we get every little bit of this cake in here. Let's see if I tap it a couple of times. And spread it one more time. Okay, I think I'll finish spreading. And now we're going to put the almonds on top. I got my almonds. And then you're just going to sprinkle the almonds on top. More like pouring it. And this is going to be your classic almond ricotta cheesecake. And it's three-fourths cup, guys, just a reminder. There. And come look how pretty it looks. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to put this in the oven, and I'm going to bake it for about 45 minutes. Once it cools, we'll come back, we'll lift it out of the spring, and we'll show you what it looks like. Be right back. So we're back. It came out of the oven. It's been sitting out to cool for maybe about 10 minutes, I say. I went ahead and opened up the spring to let it cool. It was fine. And that's what it looks like. Isn't that pretty? It's pretty. I just wish I would have flattened the the, uh, the batter a little bit better because you can see, but we'll start on this side to cut. So let's see what it tastes like. I'm just going to get this. Right here. Nice with a cup of coffee. Wouldn't this be great with a cup of coffee? I'm just going to take a small little piece. Here. 
here and I love it because it doesn't stick. Look, right here, look how nice. Looks great, huh? It's very spongy, very spongy, and that's what we want. We don't want it hard. Let's see what it tastes like. Mmm, can't wait to see what it looks like. See, I'm talking about how fluffy, soft, it's not hard. That's a good sign. Let's see what it tastes like. Delicious. Mmm. Taste the almond. Very good with the Jimmy. If you don't like ricotta cheese, you do not take you cannot taste it. It is so moist, so good. Would I make this again? You darn too. No, make this again. It's delicious. So I hope y'all try this recipe. Again, it is called Classic Almond Ricotta Cake by Taste of Home, and it's delicious. This is a must try. Make it for your grandmother. Make it for your mom. Make it for your family. I know my family is going to enjoy this cake as much as I know your family will. So if you love this recipe, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for all my new subscribers. I appreciate it. And thank you for again for coming in my kitchen. Bye, guys.